don't everyone go and take the history and I just found a really cool thing I could do with my phone. So I know I could do this with my pictures, but apparently I contains the saturation and ex exposure with my video. Game changer. Unfortunately, it's happening the last night of being here in the nation's capital, the federal city, Washington, D.C. But yeah, so I was able to dim things down a little bit, take away some of the brightness, get into that dusk, golden hour time of the day. This video is looking at today is a shooting that happened at the Washington Capitol. So what ended up happening was is that you had two members of Congress got in a very big disagreement. They passed each other again. And a little bit later, one of the individuals went back to his house and got his pistol. Came back, so when they got in a disagreement again in the stairwell of the Capitol, there was some shoving goes on. One of the members of Congress pulls out his pistol and shoots the other guy. Ultimately, he was found not guilty. He was found to be a sign of self-defense, but still. The more you know. I'm going to be doing a longer video about that. Just a nice little intro, I guess, maybe. So here I am doing an intro to a, uh, to a video at dusk that was filmed early afternoon, morning-ish. I think it was morning. Subscribe. Let's go. So yeah, so this video was filmed over the course of two years. So I have some footage from 2022 that I'm going to be including in this video, and the footage from 2023 started this intro to this video, as well as a few other clips. So hopefully you watch this video to its entirety, because I've put a lot of work into it, and it's been two years of covering it. It's a topic, it's a story, that most people may or may not know even took place in the Capitol building. So it was definitely something that I wanted to cover. I was really hoping to make it to the stairwell where the event took place. Unfortunately, that's not part of the traditional tours. So the only way I could gain access to that would be through my elected officials. And I'd have to see about trying to set up a private tour and if that would even be possible. So, you know, it is the nation's capital, it is the United States capital, it's where Congress meets, so them just giving me a free pass around the capital probably isn't going to happen, but we can try. And so some of the, of the clips are going to be actual video clips, sometimes it's film. I wasn't fully sure if I was allowed to film videos, so sometimes I took videos, sometimes I took pictures, so I just kind of wanted to tread the, the line lightly, that way I could ask for forgiveness versus permission, but I also didn't want to just overly just assume that I could just do what I pleased, so one thing we definitely had to focus on. But the story takes us back to the 1880s, what we're going to be covering today. And we're covering a dispute between two elected officials. Two individuals are supposed to be showcasing the foundations of compromise and how to carry out civil discourse in an effective manner found themselves at wit's end on one day in the 1800s. And that's what brings us to this video. So if you have not subscribed yet, hopefully you hit the subscribe button turn the notifications bell. If you like this video at the end, hit that like button and share it. But today we're going to dive into the story, right about now. In the halls of power, where laws are made and debates unfold, history sometimes takes a dark turn. Today we delve into a tragic chapter within the United States Capitol involving Congressman William Tolby. Born in Kentucky, William Tolby served as a congressman during a tumultuous period in American history, the late 19th century. His fate would be sealed in an unexpected and violent manner. On February 28th of 1890, within the hollow corridors of the House of Representatives, a personal dispute escalated into a deadly encounter. Tolby faced Charles Kincaid, a newspaper correspondent who harbored a grudge over an article he had written. The tension reached its peak as Charles Kincaid confronted Tolby in a corridor, 
In a shocking turn of events, a gunshot rang out, claiming the life of Congressman. The echoes of that tragic moment would reverberate through the Capitol's history. Charles Kincaid, the assailant, was later tried for the murder of William Tolby. Despite the severity of the act, he was found not guilty by reason of insanity, adding another layer of complexity to the somber tale. The incident left an indelible mark on the Capitol's history. Today, a somber reminder of this personal conflicts that could intertwine within the political landscape. As we reflect on this tragic event, we remember Congressman William Tolby, whose life was cut short within these historic walls. Join us as we continue to explore the stories that shaped the tapestry of our nation. As always, continue with history and film. If you liked this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like it, turn on the notifications bell, share it with some other people who may or may not have known about this story. And as always, continue to look at the history and film. Catch you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day, everyone.